And in business, ahead of the forthcoming United Nations Climate Action Summit coming up in November, women farmers have taken to the streets of Abuja to call for more actions in mitigating the effects of climate change. They are asking the federal government to commence implementation of the National Adaptation Plan, publicly fund agroecology, promote the planting of more trees, discourage the felling of trees, especially in climate change affected areas, and also fund the proposed Great Green Wall project. The groups also want support for victims and farmers whose livelihoods were affected by flooding and extreme weather conditions. We are standing together in collective action for climate justice and climate action, asking the government for system change, as is the global campaign happening today across different countries in the world. And as Nigerian smallholder women farmers, we are here to say climate action, climate justice is the way for Nigeria's farming system. We want the government to begin to allocate budgets for climate financing without collateral. We want the, farm, we want the government to begin to change their systems in terms of making sure that the meteorological agencies are working and that farmers can access information. We want farmers to begin to campaign to reserve our forests, forestation and not cutting trees down or felling of trees. That way we are able to protect the oxygen level and the atmospheric environment needed for us to live as Nigerians under healthy conditions. We need to mobilize both citizens and the government to take action. You could hear and see flooding everywhere across Nigeria. Uh, when it rains now, it rains too much. When it is dry, it is too much. When it is hot, it is too much. And we need to do a lot of things to avert the floods. Um, the government needs to implement the National Adaptation Plan and um, also the government needs to fund massively public financing of agroecology. The idea today is for us to come and lend our voice and do our climate strike. To say that enough is enough, that climate justice is people's power. Issues of climate change should be taken seriously by our government. The UN Climate Summit is coming up in November and we want our government to go there with one voice and insist that climate finance is an obligation, not charity. Nationally, all the policies that have been put up for climate change should be put into action. Mechanisms should be put in place to help families that have been displaced so that they can reintegrate into the society. And then we should also make sure that we have mechanisms in place to ensure that people are not affected when this has happened. We just noticed a sudden change in the climate around the country and it's affecting us farmers mostly and that is why we've come here to talk to the government to the general public to create awareness on these climate change issues that we want government to take action